What is going on everybody, my name is ChamH3 and welcome back to another video. And today's video guys, we're on Cold War, we're on the map D Machina. What I got for you this time is three of the best working camo slash XP glitches you guys can do on this map after all patches and hotfixes. Now, I do believe these three are my favourite and the best if you guys want to unlock those camos. Pretty simple and the good thing is you can do all of these solo. Now the first one I'm going to show you is the one located over at the pond. Keep one zombie at the end of a round. Climb on top of this truck from the back. Then jump over to the front. And then move back slightly. And then quickly move forward. Make sure that your crosshairs are head on to that rock. Now you'll notice if you've done it correctly. You'll be floating. And the zombies will stop throwing meat at you. And they'll just stand AFK. Now once you take care of that last zombie, the next round will start and then all the zombies will start coming onto the truck and they'll pile up exactly where you guys got on. So as you can see that's where I got on and that's where the zombies are going to pile. Now what makes this a really good glitch for camos is you can get off, pretty simple. You can pretty much get on here pretty simple, once you've got the, uh, the knack of it you'll be able to get on here pretty easily. You can pick up all the salvage. You can knife the zombies, so for you guys that want to unlock your knife camos, this is perfect for that. Now, another thing is, if you guys put on the energy mind, it is absolutely awesome. It's probably one of the most OP field upgrades that you can use in these glitches, because it doesn't just kill the zombies. The second blast, if that kills another zombie as well, you will refill your energy mind to two. You can't pick up the drops, unfortunately, in this spot, but you're not going to need to worry about that because, one, you can use the Wonder Weapon if you guys want to. You can also keep one zombie at the end of a round, pick up the max ammo, and then literally just get back on here. Uh, as long as you keep one zombie, it really does help you out because even if that zombie throws meat at you, you do have a couple of you know, seconds in order to, to try this a couple of times to get on the spot. You're not going to get it straight away. It can be quite tricky, like I said in this. Um, it's one of those ones where you have to make sure that you're one, dead onto the spot, and two, that you're only back just a little bit, and then you're moving forward. Now, like I said, you can get off at the end of each round to buy ammo, uh, to upgrade your weapons, to buy perks, to buy armor. Literally, all the things that you're going to need. Also, switch weapons if you've upgraded a certain weapon. You can then like switch it to a different weapon and get back on here as well. Recommend you guys pack a bunch of your guns as well in order to get through a whole round. As you can see here, I'm just showing you that it doesn't, you can't always get it straight away. But it does take a while, but as long as you keep one zombie, it'd be a lot easier to maintain and get on this glitch. Now, the Megatons do attack you in this spot, but the hands and the zombies pile up. Now, the next glitch I'm going to show you in this video, which I believe is probably one of my favourites. You're going to need to keep a zombie at the end of a round. Don't have more than one. Crouch right into this corner in the living room. Find the barrier and basically crouch and walk up this barrier slowly uh, until you get to the rock. Turn to your left where the zombie is piling. Get the zombie to down you. Once you're down, you want to move to your right a little bit so you're underneath that rock. Hold the prone button first. Very important to hold the prone button first. And while you're holding that button, you then want to hold the self-revive. So hold the prone, then hold the self-revive. So you're both holding both those buttons at the same time at that point. And then once you get revived, you should be prone. Now, if the zombies do attack you when you first get up, slightly, slowly move to your right until you get to a point where the zombies don't attack you. Just keep in mind that on a hound dog round, you guys are going to have to be very careful when it comes to the gas from the hounds. So what I recommend you guys doing is killing one hound at a time, waiting for your health to regenerate, and then killing the next one. Also make sure that you've got some perks that will also help, especially if you've got Quick Revive and Jug. Buy yourself a third perk, so then when you go down you lose that third perk, but you still keep Jug and Quick Revive. Now what makes this awesome for camos is because you can build up your camos on your knife, just by knifing them, which is cool. You can pick up the max ammos as well. So you don't need to ever get down from here once you're up here. As long as you've got like two weapons, you can keep switching between the two weapons. Keep upgrading them. If you go on to uh, change weapons, come out of this glitch by moving forward. Buy yourself another weapon. Pack a punch it. 
get yourself a self revive for 250 and then get back in here. Now we're moving over to the last one in this video. You're going to need to one purchase a bow, then purchase a chopper gunner. The reason why I say that is so you can have two chopper gunners. Keep this barrier closed, it's important so the zombies don't come down the slide. Come to the slide, crouch, slowly edge yourself off until you find this barrier, move forward and then just jump a little bit to the right and activate your chopper gunner. Just to keep in mind you want to be exiting your chopper gunner straight away or pretty much before it runs out so you can actually duplicate it and allows you to have another chance of getting in this spot. As you can see here, you want the zombies to pour below you. Now I'm going to show you what will happen if the zombies pour above you. It's the same principle, crouch to go down the barrier, move forward, jump to the right and activate your chopper gunner. Now you'll notice once I exit this chopper gunner, I am a little far up. Not really a bad thing, it just means the zombies and the megaton will pour above you instead of pouring below you. The only downfall to this is that once the zombies pile up enough, you'll get that one zombie that will attack you. So I recommend you guys not getting the zombies to pile above you, just get them to pile below you. Now the good thing about them piling below you is you can pick up the drops as long as they're close, which is awesome. So for instance, max ammo's are brilliant because if they're close, you can pick them up. And it means that if you've got two weapons in here, you are sorted. Now, you can have the Wonder Weapon in this spot as well, which is absolutely awesome. But everything pours up from the Megaton to the Hounds, the Dogs, the Zombies, and the Gas doesn't touch you. And you can just keep ranking up. So, apart from that, that's been your boy, Channel Mate Stud, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.